planning out your retirement, there are a lot of things to take into consideration. One of the most important ones, probably being your finances. You wanna make sure you can afford to take care of yourself for the rest of your years. Well, today I am here with Jonathan Leonard, and he is going to give us some insight on how to make sure that we're making the most of our money when it comes to our retirement plan. It's so great to be here with you today. Hey, thanks for having me, Clarissa. I appreciate it. Of course. So let's get to the first question, which is what is the expected lifespan of clients in retirement considering our health and family history? This might be something that we overlook. Yeah, and, and obviously it's you know it's a case by case basis, but you know, last year the CDC said that the average life expectancy is usually around 79 years of age. So you know, obviously there's a ton of different factors that go that can go into it. But generally speaking, that's that's what they're saying nowadays is around 79. Okay, so we cross our fingers and hope to live to 79 or maybe even longer. Then we have to take into consideration some other things, right? Um, potential expenses that come with living a long life, like healthcare and housing. Are we going to be in a senior living community? Are we going to be funding our own home? What are some things to consider with those expenses? Yeah, so there's a lot of things to consider. So first off is, is just Medicare, right? So a lot of people, they get to the point where they can go on Medicare once they're age 65, and they have this idea that it's free. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone has to pay for their Medicare Part B. Um, so in the Medicare Part B, there's six different brackets that you could be that you could pay depending on your income. Then also there's long-term care. And you know that obviously that's something that we always hope that we don't have to get into that situation to use, but you know those situations definitely do arise and something that we need to account for when planning. Absolutely, and they can get very expensive as I've learned. Um, so what steps can we take to ensure that our retirement savings last for our entire lifetime? Right, so the one thing we always talk about with our clients is, you know, we want you to outlive your money and there's ways that we can help protect your money. So we like to use a two bucket strategy where one, we have our, what we call our growth bucket, where we can use you know, traditional investments like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and you know, that, that bucket's gonna have volatility. And then on the other side, we like to have a protected bucket where we can use things like money markets, CDs, fixed or fixed index annuities. But in this protected bucket, we can never lose money in these kind of buckets. And so that's where we like to draw our income out of. So by using this two bucket approach, we, we like to ensure our clients that you're never gonna outlive your money. And using certain products like annuities also have long-term care provisions in there. So if, you know, worst case scenario, something does happen to you, God forbid, you know, we're able to ensure, you know, where you need to go into a nursing home or anything like that for long-term care needs as well. So where can we go for more information on how you can help us with our finances, whether it be for retirement or any other activities? Sure. Well, my, my website is, is leonardfinancialsolutions.com, or you could also type in leonardfs.com. But we always say, you know, if you are using any advisor, you could always go on FINRA Broker Check to search for that advisor to make sure they don't have any disclosures on there as well, too. Um, and this way, you know that you're getting an advisor that hasn't had any trouble in the past. So. All right. Good to know. We always have to do our homework, guys. I always say this on Coastal Living. So reach out to Leonard Financial Solutions and let them know Coastal Living sent you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Rosa.